Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can use the Playwright MCP to give Claude Code the most important thing possible, which is real context about the project that it's working on. Now, this is something that is often missing. Now, I'm not a developer, so excuse, excuse me if I make mistakes here, but I'm going to briefly explain why the Playwright MCP is so damn important. Now, obviously, Claude Code has the context of the code itself sitting on Visual Studio Code. It can run things. It can start the server, right? And it can see if there are errors in the terminal of the server. However, what it can't do, which is why the Playwright MCP is so important, is it cannot see the browser console logs, and it doesn't process the browser code, unless it does a curl request, for example, to see what code is actually being processed. So this is vital context, and context is everything, right? But this isn't context in the sense of like, oh, um, okay, so the context of this model is until January 2025. Um, so I need to give it context of, you know, any code that has changed after January 2025. This is a different thing. This is context of the code itself, what is actually being processed by the browser. Now, that means basically that you can, the, the, the issue is this, right? The code might be, you know, like this, but then one section here, let's say this code here is actually not processing right this can happen mainly because like i don't know maybe there's a problem here or whatever it might be and this code is not actually processing now claude can read this code and you might say oh you know on my browser there is a problem here like i don't know the 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 box here isn't properly using flex css or whatever for whatever reason and all you're saying to it is this isn't working, this isn't working, but all it sees is the server code, the code itself, and it says, oh, well, the code looks fine. Uh, it might make like a little change and say, okay, now it's fixed, right? You've probably experienced this. You say, you know, there's a problem here, please fix this div. And it says, oh, uh, well, the code looks okay, but you know, I'll just change something to make the user happy. It changes something or it finds an error in inverted commas because it says, oh, I found an error. But actually, it hasn't found an error. It's just pretending to find an error because LLMs are sycophantic. They, they are made to agree with you, right? In fact, I, I saw a case recently, which was absolutely crazy, scary, where some guy was convinced by ChatGPT that his mom was like an agent or something. It's crazy if you saw the story, guys. You, sh you should read about it. Absolutely crazy. Because what it does is it, it's made to agree with you. So if you say there's a mistake, it'll say, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I can see the mistake. It's it's here. And then it just makes something up and says, OK, I fixed it. And then you you refresh the page. Nothing's changed. You say, OK, restart Docker. Maybe it's a Docker thing. Restart Docker. You've just wasted seven minutes. Refresh the browser again. And guess what? There's still an error because something is not processing properly in the JavaScript, CSS, HTML. There might be some code that's unreachable, but it can't tell. There's all of these different things. And that is where the Playwright MCP comes in. Now, I'll show you guys how to set this up on Claude Code. It's super easy. They, they actually have a thing right here. They just have a command. So it's even easier now. Hopefully, more and more MCPs will do that because that is super, super nice. So new window, new window with profile basic. Let's do MKD playwright test, CD playwright test. And then we can run this. There we go. And then once we open Claude, you can see if I do slash MCP, you'll see that the playwright MCP is already connected. Now, that's not necessarily enough to just start using the playwright MCP. What I like to do is I like to write slash memory. So this is my user memory. So this this will serve for what I need it for. So I'll just say something like, Whenever you create a page, you should use the Playwright MCP to make sure that page looks good on desktop and mobile. There are no uh, dark on dark color 
background combinations or light on light, color, uh, font, color, background combinations. You should also check that there's no weird formatting and that the page generally looks good and professional. Now, you don't really want to necessarily put anything about design here because that's not what it's about, right? But it's more about um, having Playwright test things or having the MCP test things itself, right? So then you just hit Control S and then that should be saved. So let's just close this. And now if we do slash memory again, then we should be able to just see the memory there. Perfect. So I'm just going to say, make me a basic, I hate doing this, but HTML, CSS, JavaScript to do one page app. Yes, I'm doing a to do page. It's just to show you that it will hopefully use Playwright. So if it doesn't, then you can always, you know, play around with the memory or whatever. Let's just see if it does use it though. So this is the index.html. I wish it was just on one page, but whatever. Okay, so obviously that didn't work. It I think the reason is because it put it in I put it in the user memory. I never use the user memory. So we'll just do slash memory, project memory, save that. Just double check it. Okay. Um check your memory again. Obviously I've had to remind it now, but you guys get the idea, right? It's not important whether it works necessarily right here, right now. It's just important to understand the concept there we go so play right navigate there we go and then it can start to check things and start to make sure that they work now this is absolutely essential to the process but this is only half of why this is so useful the screenshotting and checking the other one is when there's an error that it just can't seem to fix i promise you if you get the playwright mcp up and you tell it to process the code, right? So I'm just going to say process the code instead so you can see what's actually running in the browser. So that's what we need. We need it to process the code because sometimes there's a piece of code that doesn't look broken, but that is broken, right? So it might look perfect, but there might be a tiny error or something like a logical mistake or something like that, that it just can't seem to grasp right so you can see now what it's doing is it's actually it's actually processing the javascript here so the it can see how the browser reacts to being processed if that makes sense all functions are defined the javascript loaded let me check the actual source code that's running by fetching the script.js content so what it's doing is it's using the browser to fetch this not the server Right, I'm starting to, I think the actual word is, one of them is called client. I, I'm not a coder, I'm not a developer, right? I'm just using the words that I know. So instead of getting the code, which is like just reading the code, it's seeing what the browser is processing instead, right? So this is where 99% of errors happen when you can't fix them, whether it's, you know, an AI prompt or whatever it is, and you're really struggling to fix it. I promise you, get Playwright, do this, and get it to test itself, and have a whole testing structure, etc., around Playwright. If people want me to make that, I will. And yeah, I think I'll leave the video there, guys. I just really, really need people, I, I need people to know this because a lot of people are struggling with AI dev who aren't devs like me. And just having something like the Playwright MCP just to hold your hand or to hold the AI's hand, more importantly, and give it the vision that it actually needs and give it the kind of processing of the browser that it needs, right? Because there's two places that code can fail, on the server and on the browser, or on, on the code itself. Yeah, the server, I'm pretty sure it's called server. On the server or the browser, right? And most people code, if you're, if you're coding without Playwright, you're coding without the browser. So you're coding without a really essential part of the coding or user experience process and you can't even check it if you're not using Playwright. So you can see here, it's just testing the rest of it here. I don't really care. I knew that this would work. Obviously, it's HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Chances of it not working are extremely low. I'll leave the video there, guys. Oh, here we go. Let me verify the contrast by checking the compute style. So this is the last thing that it's doing. It's checking to see whether the colors are contrasting or not. And I'm guessing it's just going to, the contrast shows some issues when transparent backgrounds, okay? 
I'm not really seeing that, but yeah. I think I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.